Hello, friends. And good morning. It's December 8th, my birthday. I'm Gabby Probst, here with Poet Williams, and this is your Viper Pit Stop on the Vandegrift Broadcast System. As always, let's go over the weather first. Looks like our chilly days will continue well into next week, with lows in the 30s to 40s and highs reaching only into the low 60s. Tuesday, girls basketball fell to Vista Ridge with a close 43 to 49. The boys also lost their game against Carter last week, 26 to 47. However, they'll be bouncing back during the Pride of Texas tournament. Both teams are playing a game against Sigurora. Both tip off at 1 o'clock. VHS Varsity Swim Team is taking on multiple Round Rock schools this Saturday, December 9th, from 12 to 3 p.m. Wish our swimmers good luck. Soccer Girls Varsity has a scrimmage against Lake Travis today. They're going to be playing at Lake Travis High School from 6.30 to 7.30. The window for your second semester level drops are coming up soon. Requests are due December 21st before midnight. If you are considering dropping a level, meet with your counselor. If they are not available, talk to the teacher of the class you want to drop. Freshmen and sophomores, don't forget to submit your initial course selections for next year by December 21st or else. And all grade levels, midterms are now happening, woohoo, they'll be taking place Tuesday, December 19th through Friday the 22nd, which is also a half day, so you'll be getting out at 12.15 on the 22nd. And now, live on the scene, Gabby Probst with an inside scoop on the happenings down at the CCC. We're down at the CCC with Ms. Reidling and she's going to tell us a little bit more about why students find this place so helpful. Yeah, well first and foremost, I hope that the College and Career Center is like a warm and welcoming place for students to feel like they can just pop in. Um, whether they have like a specific question or they just want a quiet place to work on like college applications or their ACC courses. Um, that's why the door is propped open because I want students to know like, hey, this is, this is open for you, um, whether it's before school, after school, during lunch and off campus period. They can come in and ask questions, whether it's about academic planning, ACC stuff, or definitely the prime time of asking questions is around like college applications. When students are going through that experience, um, for the first time in their lives, hopefully the last time in their lives, and it's a whole new world. And because it's something that they'll experience just that one time, you know, we don't expect them to know everything. We don't expect them to have all the answers, so we want that door to be open so students know that they're welcome to come in and ask. And I know that we've got some information about college visits. Do you want to touch on that a little Yes, bit? absolutely. So that's one of the ways that might be like an entry point for some students to like discover the College and Career Center um, is by coming and attending college visits. Those college visits are open to sophomores, juniors, and seniors um, to register through via Naviance. Uh, but college visits are the perfect time to meet with the college admission representatives to find out more about a school in general, but also a chance to meet them because they're typically the people who are reading the application and helping to make a decision as to whether or not you're admitted. So they are key people to, to wanna get to know. Or if you just have questions, um, I'm not an expert on all things college. You can't always find things super handily on the website, but you can always reach out to the college admissions representative, especially after you've already made a connection with them um, attending a college visit, so. That's great, thank you. And now we have Gage Gruitt with some more information about college visits. Not only A, can you kind of put your name out there so they um, do understand it. And it's actually surprising. I've had like admissions officers in the past with the college visits. I did an interview with one and she was like, oh, I think I remember you at one of them. So they actually do remember you. Um, I didn't think they would. Um, and also just in general, you get to ask your questions right there and get them answered in person so you can clear up any confusion and really just have the most clarification. And that's something like Vandegrift provides that a lot of other schools doesn't provide. And then also with Miss Bradling as a constant resource, you know, that's questions constantly. And a lot of people don't have access to these college um, and career advisors, but Vandegrift does that well. Thank you for watching, and if you're interested in learning more about college visits, Ms. Spradling, or the College and Career Center as a whole, you can visit Ms. Spradling's page under the Vandegrift High School directory. And additionally, it's important to note that as a part of college visits, there is gift giveaways of gift cards and things you could earn for filling out a Google form after, for even just attending. So there's that. And signing out, thank you for watching. Thank you, Gabby. My pleasure, poet. Now back to your regularly scheduled news. There will be star retests slash makeup tests all next week. December 12th will be the English 1 and U.S. History star retest. December 13th will have the biology retest and English 2 retest. December 14th will be the Algebra 1 retest and December 15th will be the U.S. History retest. 
Look out for our holiday classroom door decorating competition. Decorating has already begun and doors will be judged on December 21st with the winner announced on the same day. Ask around to see if any of your classes need some good artistic input. That's a wrap for today. I'm Poet Williams. I'm Gabby Probst. And this has been your Viper Pit Stop. Have, Have a, a very, very Merry, Merry December, December Vipers! Vipers.